What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I have a very special guest on with us on today's segment. Anthony Jones out of Liberty High School from Las Vegas, Nevada. Anthony, how are you doing today? Good. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure to have a special talent like yourself, Anthony. Um, quick question. I just want to to know off the top of your head, are you familiar with Brevin Jordan? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> How has Have you been active in communicating with Brevin Jordan at all? I know Miami is recruiting you as well, um, but, you know, local tight end from Las Vegas, same area as him. I know he attended a different high school, but is there a relationship at all? Um, I haven't, like, really talked to him before. The fact um, that I knew Miami was, like, interested in me. He texted me and told me that him and Coach Field sat down and watched my film. And uh, Coach Field was impressed with my um, athleticism. So he was just telling me that Miami is, like, a really good place for tight ends. And they always produce really good tight ends and go to the league. So, you know, we were just, like, touching base on that. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it is tight end you. I mean, Greg Olson, uh, Jimmy Graham, uh, Kellen Winslow, Brevin Jordan, uh, David Njoku. We can keep going on. We don't have that much time to talk about the tight end history, but it is quite a lot. Anthony, how did this past season go for you and uh, your uh, high school team? So I was at a different high school um, because we didn't get a season this year, as you know. But last year, my sophomore year, I was at a different high school, and I was only playing um, defense. So um, I had to switch schools and get into a better program that best fit me for playing offense and things like that. So I was just playing a lot of seven-on-seven and doing a lot of camps and things like that. So that's what I've been working on. Hey, Anthony, speaking of stuff you're working on this offseason, could you kind of let our fans know exactly, you know, maybe what kind of workouts you're doing, what kind of camps and seven-on-seven and seven events you might be attending? So I think I'll be attending the SP. Well, I know I'll be going to the SPE camp this month uh, out in Houston. And then I think I'll be attending the Under Armour camp in L.A. May 8th. And then right now we just started up spring ball with our high school, so – uh, we've been doing like a lot of heavier lifting, like you know, like back squat, bench, like just get into the technical stuff, and then we'll go out and do speed and agility. So I'm working on my speed, you know, cuts, footwork, things like that. What's your uh, forty time right now, Anthony? If you've been timed, uh, I didn't run it yesterday at the national press camp because we just scrimmaged on Saturday, so. I didn't think yesterday was the right time, but I think I'm a high 4.6, low 4.7, around that area. Very nice. And have you uh, maxed out and bench press and squat yet or deadlift? Uh, I haven't maxed out recently, but I have my maxes from like five, six months ago. Okay. What are those numbers, if you recall? Uh, my bench was 3.15 at the time. Uh, my squat was 4.75. And my um, power team was 295. Okay, wow. Yeah, you're pretty strong. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, you have an official visit lined up with Miami. Could you let our fans know when that visit's going to take place and, and kind of let us know what you're really looking for when you're in Miami? Uh, I'll be going the first weekend of June. I think that's the third or fourth. It's one of those days. And... Um, I just want to be able to get out there and officially meet the whole staff and talk to Coach Field and get, like, the whole feel of the campus, just walk around, see everything, see the city. Because I've been to Fort Lauderdale. I haven't been, like, to actually – I didn't go see, like, the actual city of Miami um, because I was out in Fort Lauderdale for a tournament. But, um, you know, just get the feel of the city, see if that's, like, a right fit for me. You know, outside of Miami, what are some of the other schools that are really pushing for you pretty hard for your recruitment? Um, Oregon has been pushing pretty hard. USC, Texas, Arizona, Washington, uh, those schools. 
they've been going pretty hard. Anthony, regarding your visit down to Miami in early June, are there any other recruits that you're in communication with that you plan on meeting during that time? Um, I haven't like looked or reached out to see like who was going to be going on those dates. Um, I think I'll be doing that pretty soon, though. Okay. And I have to ask, you know, you are a West Coast high school football player out of the state of Nevada. I understand Miami has a great connection lately with players from the state of Nevada, but what drew you towards the University of Miami all the way down in the East Coast? You know, just like you said, uh, everyone calls it tight end you. So um, they produce a lot of good tight ends and uh, they prepare them to go to the NFL. So I think that's what really drew my attention towards them. And then just seeing Brevin like go from Bishop Gorman to being a great tight end and now going on to the league. So just that connection there too. Yeah, no, definitely, man. I think you, that's very well stated what you said. And was there a favorite school you had growing up, you know, watching college football? Well, I didn't like really pay attention to college football, but I, my, my whole family has always been a fan like of USC because my cousin went there. So that was just like the school that everybody was paying attention to. Gotcha. Um, I noticed, you know, uh, on some of your high school film that, you know, and like you mentioned as well, you've played on defense and offense. Are there any colleges recruiting you on the defensive side of the ball or is it just at tight end right now? Uh, yeah, some schools have um, offered me on the defensive side of the ball as well. What are you, what are the uh, main priorities for you as far as a coaching staff goes? You know, is it, is it just, you know, simple relationships, you know, player to player, coach to coach, or is there something that you're really looking for in a college or from a coaching staff in general? You know, I don't want them to just like have a relationship with me. I want them to also have a relationship like with my family. So my family like is comfortable with me going to, um, to their school, like knowing the coaching staff is going to treat me well and things like that. So I think it's, I don't really, obviously I want a um, good relationship with the coach, but it's really big if my mom has a relationship with them too. Anthony, how many official visits do you plan on taking? And then from those official visits, when do you plan on making a decision? So I'll be taking all five visits and I only have three set right now. And I haven't, like, really thought about when I was going to commit. Like, I want to sit down with my family and then find the right time after that. I know you mentioned the relationship with your family. Um, you know, the football program, the coaching staff is going to be key for you. Are th is there any other factor you're looking forward to in a program to make your decision? You know, just if I were to go play offense, like, how many times – do they uh, throw the ball to the tight end or how do they utilize the tight end and uh, how do they prepare them to go to the league if that's what um, I really want to do. And then, like, on the defensive side of the ball, like, is there a chance if I can come in there and play as a true freshman? Well, that's on both sides of the ball. If I can come in and play, um, like, have a fair opportunity to play and things like that. So that's what I really look for. Hey, Anthony, uh, who are your favorite players that you have? You know, maybe maybe some guys that you like to look up to and mold your game after. Uh, I love Travis Kelsey, Rob Gronkowski. Um, I was a big Ray Lewis fan, Patrick Willis, uh, Young, you know, just players like that. And, you know, I, I'm curious here. Is there anything in college that you're wanting to study? Does anything really pique your interest? Um, I think I, like, I've been thinking about taking a business major or communications. Maybe you'll uh, be a future, uh, you know, ESPN anchor one day or college game day. Is that something that interests you, kind of a sports analyst? Um. Something like that, or if I do go to the league, like when I retire, I can be like on, you know, like talk show host or things like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I think that's a great, you know, at an early age, you have already identified potentially what you want to do. 
And, um, you know, we can tell, Anthony, you have a great head on your shoulders and you're going to do great things on and off the football field. And we just want to say thank you uh, for your time coming on this uh, show. And best of luck in your visit down to Coral Gables in June. I know you're going to love it. Thank you. I appreciate the call. All right. Anytime, Anthony. Have a great visit down in Miami. Take care. Thank you. You